Watch out, girls, I'm famous. Watch out, I'm famous. Dude, I almost touched one of these peasants. Hey, girls, I'm famous. I'm famous on YouTube. Girls, just a little on the left, I'm famous. This is my road. <laughs> the biggest douchebag in Twitch history or the biggest legend in Twitch history? You decide. It's a point of contention between every single individual who's heard of the name John Zerka. And if you haven't heard of his name before, he's best described as perhaps one of the most bizarre individuals to ever hit the streaming world. Hey, forget John Mendes, YouTube John Zerka. YouTube John Zerka. YouTube John Zerka. And the story of John Zerka is so unique that we're unlikely to ever see another like it. After accidentally gaining 500,000 views from his first ever stream, Dunford appeared to be the sole purpose of promoting his Instagram, his life would change overnight. Viewers took an instant liking to his extremely confident persona. All these guys combined cannot do half a million views on YouTube. Look at Boy Lean, he's about to cry. <laughs> Look at the competition, man. Look like you found them on the However, being the quote six foot five king of alpha male energy has come with its own set of problems. An army of hatred derived from what many state to be contempt and jealousy, a hugely negative bias towards him from the Twitch platform owed to his unique personality and outlook on life, and multiple account suspensions and bans, the most recent of which being for what many are calling the most unfair banning in Twitch history. This is the curious case of John Zerka. All right, yeah. my name is John fucking Zerka. I'm a nightclub bouncer. I'm, I'm a personal trainer and I've got a present for one of the girls. The 15th of January, 2019, John Zerka's first ever stream on Twitch, an event that has come to be known as the birth of John Zerka. But when we say his first stream ever, it wasn't actually his stream. John Zerka was invited onto The Radula, a reality TV style show hosted by Raj Patel, on which Raj would invite a handful of attractive female streamers to flirt with various males who were brought on one at a time, one of which being an unknown six foot five bouncer from Vancouver by the name of John Zerka. From the second his face showed up on the stream, he began to gain a reputation instantly as a bit of an oddball. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Go ahead. <laughs> um, hang on. Uh, my name is... Uh... <laughs> Good name. What are you doing? Just, 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 just... This sparked a bit of curiosity for both the contestants and the audience. Who was this masculine alpha dude with an aura of extreme confidence, but strangely couldn't even finish his sentences when presented with questions from the girls? Well, it wouldn't be long before the audience figured out that he was trolling to some extent. And instead of taking the natural path on the show of trying to woo the girls over, John Zerka spent most of the live stream just roasting and trolling them. Did you cheat on your ex? <laughs> Huh? Were you cheating on your <laughs> Dude, give me, give, yo, put subtitles on that girl. I want a girl that if, like with a mute button, if I say, yo, you're pissing me off, just go away for a bit. Her name's Candyland, right? <laughs> yes, Candyland, well, uh, let me see. I'm, I'm excited. It's an English dictionary. <laughs> I hope he's not gonna show his I can't understand, every time she speaks, I don't understand her. What's the nicest thing you've ever done for a um, girl? <laughs> okay, uh, for my ex, like, don't laugh. I would wash my body and my private parts with toothpaste so it tastes minty, right? The stream as a whole was hilarious, as the girls involved in the live stream couldn't seem to tell that he was just making a joke of the whole thing. These girls are taking him way too seriously, he's just trolling, lol. And the fact that he was presented with the opportunity to come on a notorious show like The Radula while giving off the vibe that he couldn't care less for the outcome of the event displayed his overwhelming confidence. The bizarre and unprecedented actions within the stream caused it to go instantly viral the following day, gaining 500,000 views from a video titled Funniest Guy Ever Gets Kicked Off Raj Patel's King of the Hill Game Show. They're all saying how scary he is and how terrified they are of him, and yet not only do they vote him through, but he's one of the realest on this show. Very rare you find people like Zerka nowadays. Zerka is awesome. This is the funniest, greatest sh** I've seen in the Raj Patel show. You, sir, are an absolute legend. People just aren't registering this man's humor. It's just so funny. It's all an act, but it is so well done. And this final comment was the reason why people began to love him. He was so good at finding that fine line between being serious and trolling. Right when I started becoming more humble, <laughs> I, I went viral. 
Plus, he didn't seem to care about how other people viewed him, so he was just brutally honest, displaying his authenticity. Okay, so should I start lying like the pirate and the little kid? The no, honest guy me. always gets bullied. If I start lying like the f pirate guy, oh, then everyone loves me. I don't believe in that so Man. However, while many people began to grow fond of John Zerka for his unique personality, many viewers also began to hate him for the same reason. So much delusion, grandeur, ego, and mental ineptitude. This man's lack of manners and formality is pathetic. John Zerka is such a creep. He gives me bad vibes. I just want to clear that I'm not saying he's a bad guy. I don't know who he is or what he does. I'm just saying he gives me off vibes. The whole time I wanted to punch that John guy into next year. It might be a bit of a naive argument to simply state that the reason people hated him was because they were jealous of him. However, it's probably safe to say that a large quantity of the contempt for John Zerka was derived from his status in comparison to the many being exposed to his content. I am making fun of his intellect and his ability to form opinions. He's making fun of how I look. On top of this, Zerka would practice what he preached. Most of his philosophy ran along the lines of being honest regardless of who he offended, taking responsibility for his own actions, and choosing the difficult path in the short term with the goal of long-term growth. Honestly, I watched a couple of streams and this guy gives great advice to the plebs. You you can tell he has a lot of experience with depression and people. He is respectful in his way. He just jokes around and has fun. People should go and watch his chill streams, the way he talks. He cares for his community and gives positive thoughts about life. Actually, most of the stream, John gives positive opinions to his fans. His roasts can be savage, but he doesn't mean them. There is no intent. And while this philosophy had clearly worked extremely well for John Zerka, those with opposing viewpoints were naturally repelled by his personality. The only people that don't find John funny are snowflakes or jealous. This is an objective fact. Regardless, the hate he received in the beginning didn't outweigh the amount of comparative love he got from the audience, and this love from the audience in conjunction with the virality of his first stream led John Zerka to reappear on Raj Patel's game show. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing, uh, he is back. I have allowed him back. Um, I don't know why I've allowed him back, but he's here anyway. He's wearing, um... Where he returned with an even funnier, cockier attitude. I've done half a million views overnight. These guys are a joke. Okay. All right. Thank you, John. It's all polarizing. Yeah. It's Just all let polarizing. Talk, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I don't, god. Hey, I don't want you to grab a cigarette because we we might not be able to tell you from the cigarette, skinny little bitch. <laughs> John is literally the only content ever on this show. The only man capable of making Raj's shows watchable. Once John leaves, the content goes with him. Since many people were watching Raj's stream purely for John Zerka's personality, John would go ahead and create his own Twitch channel on which he would begin doing IRL streams. I'm Yo, famous. Twitch, what's up? I don't work at Quobus, I'm famous now, I do this. These streams gave him the opportunity to display his personality in full swing, and within a month, he already had 20,000 followers. Well, I mean, who's gonna come to my doorstep, these nerds? <laughs> White Knight opens the door. John? You and Jenna? Holy sh**. You're, 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 you're not internet size. <laughs> However, as soon as John Zerka gained this initial following, he would receive his first of many bans throughout his streaming career, to which many of his haters reacted positively. Thank God, Zerka fans are the worst. They ruined Twitch chat. Good riddance. All this dude did was yell over everyone when they tried to talk. It was honestly annoying. I don't get why Raj was shoving this dude down everyone's throat having him on so many streams. Zerka would be unbanned shortly after. However, within only six months, months, he would be banned once again for a reason that was totally out of his control. While doing an IRL live stream just six months after beginning as a streamer, John Zerk would be flashed by a random girl on the street who was attempting to promote her Snapchat, Snapchat. resulting in a ban of around 30 days. However, since this was completely out of John's control, it sparked outrage from many of his fans. How is that a reason to ban John? He couldn't do anything about it. But the ultimate significance of the ban was that it plunged John Zerker into the age-old debate between why are there so many females allowed on Twitch flaunting themselves half-naked while he gets banned because someone exposed himself on his stream once in an out-of-control scenario. Basically, girls for nudity get a one-day ban. When someone flashed me on stream, I got a perma. How the f*** are you guys going to take that away from me and you're not going to take it away from the f***ing e-girl that had oops wardrobe malfunction for the 30th time to triple her stats? Ridiculous. We could probably assume that John Zerk was always on Twitch's radar purely because he fell outside the profile of a normal Twitch streamer. Plus, he was clearly always willing to push the boundaries with his ego and content to some extent, as opposed to some of the more family-friendly streamers. However, it's possible that after this first ban in July 2019, Twitch would keep an even closer eye on John Zerka, possibly even looking for a reason
reason to terminate his account in the future simply because they didn't like him. Azurka was approaching 100,000 followers on Twitch, putting him in the top 0.04% of streamers. Twitch seemed to refuse to verify John Zerka's Twitch channel, possibly hinting at their distaste for his content. Zerka would tweet about this, stating, I'm about to hit 100,000 followers on Twitch with no check mark. Make sure you support me because the lack of verification means I have sinned for y'all and kept it real on this. Showing that John Zerka seemed to be somewhat aware of the undiscussed bias that Twitch seemed to have against his channel. This bias would ultimately be revealed during a stream on the 20th of March 2021, when John Zerka would be banned from streaming for one of the most unfair reasons in Twitch history. Hey Twitch support, my account was banned 8 days ago and I still have not received an email, why? Please help. After almost a month of being banned and still not being advised of the reason, John Zerka would then tweet out, I'm getting a confirmation email in a few days. To all my loyal subscribers, I'm sorry and I read all the kind DMs. We have not been banned in almost 2 years. I look forward to seeing you guys on the other side. 8 days later, John would confirm that the reason he was banned was because he was looking at a photo of a girl in a bikini for too long during a Tinder stream. The reason I was banned was because I clicked a photo of a girl in a bikini on stream for too long. I thought this would be harmless because girls literally blow up swimming pools in their living rooms and pose sexually slash bounds on floaties for millions of dollars on Twitch. Zerk would receive responses along the lines of, Jesus Christ, the absolute state of Twitch. Why don't they just tell you to take it off the screen instead of giving you a perma? Someone at Twitch staff got something against you, bro. Just be persistent. They gotta unban you eventually. Just another excuse to try and bring a brother down who causes no harm. I don't think it's because of that. They probably have a motive to take you down. Shameless at its finest. John Zerk would sum up the ridiculousness of the ban with one final tweet, stating, The biggest difference is that my chat was respectful and these pool streamers have chats that are so insane, I'm shocked that they get away with it. And it's a good point. Twitch TV are absolutely fine with these hot tub streamers who sit on stream for hours, half naked with a chat full of coomers, donating for the sole purpose of trying to get sexual attention from a woman that will never ever meet or have any interest in them, keeping the viewers socially retarded as it takes all the risk out of actually putting yourself out in the world while actively promoting the objectification of women throughout these streams. But John Zerka, an actual potential role model for these particular males out there on Twitch, a guy who beneath his ego has a message and philosophy of looking after yourself, being confident in yourself, taking responsibility for your life, being honest, not shying away from competition, standing up for what you believe in. When he simply shows a picture of a girl in a bikini he's banned for over two months? What's the ulterior motive here, Twitch? How is this fair in any way? Are you trying to keep streamers with a potentially good philosophy away from your platform? Because the more males who come to terms with how they're wasting their life watching these hot tub streamers, the less subscriber revenue you'll get from each of them. Banning every individual who's actually speaking the truth while promoting the booby streaming genre because it keeps the coomers coming back over and over. Twitch TV, please consider the unbanning of John Zerka. He might not fit the profile of your traditional streamer, but underneath his monstrous ego, there's a man who wants nothing but the best for his audience and your platform.